256 gigs of base storage is about half the speed of the larger storage configuration. It has no effect on music production or development in Xcode or any IDE for that matter. Wait, what? He, did he just say it has no effect on building Xcode projects? Hmm. I've got the M2 MacBook Air here. And this is the one terabyte model. So it has the faster SSDs in there. This is the new M2 base model Mac mini. And this one has that famous 256 drive in there. One chip. And we know what happens with one chip. Less throughput. We're getting pretty good speeds here 2600 2700 read and write on the m2 here we're getting 1100 and 900 so yeah i'm actually getting pretty bad scores here on this one compared to some of the other youtube videos i've watched did i get a bad model regardless whether i got a bad model or not we're getting considerably slower speeds on the m2 mini but as a software developer do you care about that? Should you worry? Let's fade this out. Today, I've got a couple of tests. Xcode test, and that's what Dave was talking about right there. But Dave also mentioned the problem happens when you're copying a lot of small files. For that, I'm gonna use a web project, a very large mono repo, and I'll link to this down below. It's right here by Victor Safkin. What's in here? Well, we've got five shareable buildable packages with 250 components each, and five Next.js applications built out of 20 app-specific libraries. Each specific library has 250 components each. Now, these components are small, but there's 26,000 of them. This also uses Webpack. Webpack is notoriously slow on pretty much anything, even the latest and greatest of uh, MacBooks. You're going to have to wait. And that wait is what I want to compare here. And also, I want to do my own project. I'm going to build my own project after all this to see how long that's going to take. So we've got the exact same chip configuration here, the M2. What we're comparing, of course, is the SSD. Here's Xcode Bench mark and i'll link to this project down below as well it's by max Remenka. and this is a pretty decently sized xcode project that has a lot of dependencies and cocoa pods that it pulls in all that has to get built and that's why it's a good project but i'm gonna make one little change here just for fun because we like to have fun here when the project finishes building so i'm gonna have it say m2 air terminated and this one's gonna say m2 mini terminated we are gonna terminate them after all using our schwarzenegger <laughs> Schwarzenegger 2.0, to be more exact. I got my fingers on the triggers. All I gotta do is push that big red button. Let's go. <laughs> and we're off. Now, while this is running, the MacBook Air actually heats up quite nicely. It gets quite toasty because it doesn't have a fan in it, just to remind you about that. Uh, if you missed any of my MacBook Air reviews, the uh, base model versus the 24 gigabyte model, this is the 24 gig model, by the way. This is not the base model. You can go check out those videos. I'll link to some of them down below as well. But this one is heating up nicely. Of course, the Mac Mini is staying nice and cool because it has a fan in it, and that's staying at 59 degrees while this one reaches over 100. And I've got a couple of videos on the MacBook pros comparing the m1 max engineer terminated oh ho, 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 did you hear that <laughs> pretty much at the same time what do we got we've got 110 109 so yeah not that huge of a difference the processor here is what really drives that speed more than anything else and and just to remind you it's a multi-core build so it's using all the processors and they have the exact same configuration of processors and cores for efficiency and for performance cores here i've got the large mono repo and if we take a look at the code base there's this benchmark.js file that's the only file i'm going to run and this basically keeps building uh, the mono repos it's doing turbo repo it's doing nx it's doing Lerna and is doing another one called Lage Lage. I don't even know how to pronounce that one, but I've never used it or heard of it, but it's doing it. So it's including it in test. There's one change I made, and that's this function right here, clean folders. That gets called every time after a build because it builds multiple times to get an average. Um, I have uncommented this code so that everything gets cleaned out of cache. Otherwise, if things are cached, it just happens too fast on subsequent runs. And you can run this code on your own as well. Pretty interesting project. So I'm gonna use the time command here because it does not have a cumulative time it just has an average at the end npm run benchmark and we're ready to go boom i don't think i'll get tired of that <laughs> it's way too much fun all right this is building remember this is the one that's gonna do a lot of files this is the web dev test that dave did not do different target audience right we are all developers but we do different types of development so we want to make sure we test these things out and i've got tests coming up on android unity python is coming up in docker if there is any other test that you like to see hit me up in the comments down below okay so here we're seeing a bit of a difference yeah it's it's not insignificant but it's it's still pretty close we got 53 seconds 
53 and a half seconds on the Air, M2 Air, and we've got one minute and 11 seconds on the Mac Mini there. Let's run this again because we might get different results. Uh, let's check that out one more time. All right, while this is running, uh, it's almost done here. We're also seeing pretty high temperatures on the MacBook Air, 105, 108, but this one's staying nice and cool at 49 degrees. And by the way, in case you're wondering, that's just the CPU temperature. I've been asked this before. This is not the body temperature, which is 41 degrees. So you can touch the laptop. It's not gonna hurt you. Don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> professional laptop toucher that's a good job can i get paid for that all right we've got one finisher here so far and uh it's it's swapped the roles have reversed folks this one took two minutes and 17 seconds why is there such a big difference i'm not sure but um yeah it's a big difference from the first run that's why we're gonna do it another run i just wanted you to be aware that there is that variation that goes on here and we're trying to get a bit of an average going between the total run times. Okay, well, that one took four minutes and 41 seconds on the air. And uh, we're gonna do it one more time. Let's go. And here we are, two minutes and 11 seconds on the MacBook Air, which has shown the most variability between uh, the builds on this one, and one minute 53 seconds on the Mini. Faster on the Mini that time. And just for comparison, um, I got one minute 31 seconds on the M1 Max MacBook Pro. Uh, more detailed test on that one uh, compared to the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. Max also on the channel. So let's move on to the last test, which is my personal project, which is just a Gatsby site, which is a React project. And that does take Webpack similar to this, but it's smaller and it has a different kind of work that it's doing. It's converting lots of images. So let's, uh, let's do that one. And I'm going to time this command. It's an NPM command and I'm going to call run build, which is going to call the Gatsby CLI underneath the hood. Of course, we need the right version of node and I use NVM to manage that. NVM use 18. <laughs> Sorry, folks. These things happen when you're doing video all the time. I just don't show it most of the time. NPM run build and let's go. By the way, if you are interested in managing different NPM versions and node versions, uh, check out my video on using node version manager, NVM. Just that easily you can switch versions of nodes. Pretty cool. And we're done, folks. 55.8 seconds over here on the M2 MacBook Air, 55.5 seconds on the M2 Mac Mini. And these are pretty consistent. I've run this a couple of times. So yeah, I guess it really does doesn't matter uh, for projects where there's a lot of files. It's probably not going to matter too much. The biggest uh, difference here between these two machines is uh, if you're going to be copying really large files and a lot of them, this drive is going to slow you down. Of course, there's also the issue of heating up. So if you're doing a very long build like WebKit, for example, and if you're doing very large builds lots of times in a day, that's going to play a role here if you have the MacBook Air. But if you're doing that, you probably already have a MacBook Pro. And if you're doing that, that, maybe the M2 Mac Mini is a better option for you. That's it, folks. Uh, check out the other video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed this content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.